Polyloxida nematicus, sometimes known as the Asian straight tusked elephant, was a prehistoric elephant in the Indian subcontinent throughout the Middle and Late Pleistocene periods and probably elsewhere in Asia. Due to the striking similarity of the tusks, some researchers believe it is a subspecies of Polyloxidon antiquus, the European straight tusked elephant. The structure of their skulls differed from that of a modern elephant. The skull synapomorphies of this genus with other Polyloxidon species support its classification. According to later studies, Polyloxidon nematicus can be recognized from the straight tusked elephant by its less strong limb bones and more stout cranium. Polyloxidon nematicus is one of four known megafaunal species native to India presumed to have gone extinct during the late Pleistocene. The banks of the Dasan River in the Ganga Plain in Uttar Pradesh have a late record of around 56,000 years before the present. Polyloxidon nematicus may have been the largest land mammal ever, according to a 2015 study based on extensive studies of incomplete leg bone remains. However, this needs to be re-examined. Several studies have attempted to determine the size of Asian straight-tusked elephants and other prehistoric proboscideans by comparing thigh bone length and knowing comparable growth rates. The thigh bones of one partial skeleton discovered in India in 1905 likely measured 165 cm when complete, implying a total shoulder height of 4.5 meters for this individual elephant. Two partial thigh bones were discovered in the 19th century, and when whole, they would have measured 160 centimeters. A fragment from the exact location was nearly a quarter larger. Volumetric analysis then yields a size estimate of 5.2 meters tall at the shoulder and 22 tons in body mass. However, this calculation based on the distal femur portion requires re-examination, as the author could only believe that fossils are likely stored in the Indian Museum of Kolkata. Until such a collection can be revised, this size estimate will remain speculative. The straight-tusked elephant was known to have interacted with humans until around 21,000 years ago. Butchery has been discovered at a Paleolithic site in Italy. However, humans' contribution to the demise of straight-tusked elephants is unclear. The extreme temperature swings during the ice ages appear to have impacted. Although Paraceratherium is one of the largest known terrestrial mammals, its exact size is unknown due to a lack of complete specimens. Granger and Gregory estimated its entire body length to be 8.7 meters from front to back in 1936 and 7.4 meters by Soviet paleontologist Vera Gramova in 1959. However, the older estimate is now considered exaggerated. The weight of Paraceratherium was similar to that of some extinct proboscideans, with the steppe mammoth having the giant complete skeleton known. Paraceratherium may have been higher than any proboscidean, despite its roughly equivalent mass. Granger and Gregory estimated its shoulder height to be 5.2 meters. However, American paleontologist Gregory S. Paul judged it 4.8 meters in 1997. Paleontologists Michael P. Taylor and Matthew J. Weddell estimated the neck to be 2 to 2.5 meters long in 2013. Early estimates of 30 tons are now thought to be exaggerated, it could have been as little as 15 to 20 tons at most, and as little as 11 tons on average. The calculations were primarily based on Paraceratherium fossils, because it is the species with the complete remains. Estimates have been established on measurements of the skull, teeth, and limb bones. Still, because people of various sizes represent the known bone elements, all skeletal reconstructions are composite extrapolations, resulting in different weight ranges. Because no skin impressions or mummies exist, there are no clues of the animal's color or skin texture. Based on current rhinoceroses, most life restorations depict the creature's skin as thick, folded, gray, and hairless. Modern giant mammals, such as elephants and rhinoceroses, are mainly hairless because hair helps maintain body heat. 
Contrary to popular belief, Prothero claims that Paraceratherium possessed huge elephant-like ears used for thermoregulation. Elephant's ears increase the body's surface area and are filled with blood vessels, making heat dissipation easier. This would have been true for Paraceratherium, according to Prothero, because of the robust bones around the ear openings. This theory has been met with skepticism by paleontologists Pierre Olivier Antoine and Aaron Nash. Since its discovery, the animal's skeleton has been reconstructed due to the fragmented nature of known Paraceratherium fossils. Matthew invited an artist to create a skeleton reconstruction based on the even less complete Paraceratherium specimens available at the time, using the proportions of a modern rhinoceros as a guide. Osborne had a more slimline version designed later that year, since the original was too squat and compact. Some restorations done later in life have made the animal too slender, with little consideration for the underlying structure. Gromova published a more detailed skeletal reconstruction based on the Paraceratherium skeleton from the Errol Formation in 1959, although it also missed neck vertebrae. The reasons behind Paraceratherium's extinction after around 11 million years are unknown, but it seems unlikely that a single event was responsible. In the late Oligocene, climate change, a low reproduction rate, and an invasion of Gomphothere proboscideans from Africa are theories. By damaging trees and turning woodland into grassland, Gomphotheres may have been able to alter the habitats significantly they entered, much like African elephants do today. Paraceratherium populations would have become more fragile to other challenges after their food source became limited and their numbers declined. Large predators such as Hyenaliurus and Amphysian may have preyed on Paraceratherium calves when they arrived in Asia from Africa during the early Miocene. During this period, other herbivores also colonized Asia, 